Capricorn, what is going on? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot back at it again mid month March to let you know what the energies is surrounding you for March the 15th through the 31st. Shout out to all my Capricorns, big up to you guys. What's up to all my new subscribers, to my new viewers, if you are not already subscribed. If this video resonates with you and you like what you see, honey, go ahead and, you know, hit that subscribe so, you know, we can get to know each other a little better, okay? So, before I get into anything, if you guys have been cross-watching, I have announced um, that thanks to you guys' love and support and constant love donations, you know, because I do appreciate it when you guys send love donations, it don't matter if it's a dollar, two dollars, twenty, thirty, forty, I don't care. Uh, all of that love that y'all put into you know giving that love to me I put it right back into the page and like I said I did buy three new decks so whoever um, the top two most viewed signs will get bonus readings with these three new decks that I just got okay so I hope that you guys are fans of Alice in Wonderland that is one of my freaking favorite movies of all time growing up as a child Alice in Wonderland honey trust me I just want to know if y'all are as excited as I am. I hope that you guys get selected for the most viewed. So, <laughs> we're going to make it rock and roll with this. And I feel, I just know that these decks are just going to be absolutely freaking beautiful. So, shout out to everyone that's been sending support and been sending love. Thank you to everyone who's been booking personal and private readings. Um, I've grown such a big connection and bond with all of you guys we end up always being very good friends with everyone that I do readings for and I thank God for every one of y'all that he sent to me so um I really appreciate all of y'all love and support so let's get into the readings enough about that so I just wanted to show you guys the deck and let y'all know what's what's popping and shit dropping on the page okay so Capricorns listen um again this is reading for mid-month March okay this is the 15th through the 31st of March um if this video resonates and you want a personal private reading you can go ahead and click that about tab there's a hyperlink for my booking which says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me again Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me if this video resonates and you want to give a love donation you can do so the PayPal just is in the description okay so let's get into the prayer Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you so much for keeping us encouraged and keeping us moving steadfast and just being active. Please help us to allow to have further growth and development. Please allow us to continue our elevation into just a higher state of consciousness. Thank you so much for being our guide, for being our protector, for being a, our good father. Thank you for just nurturing us and giving us our daily bread and the nutrition that we need the protein the mental protein the balance that we need to get through our day to day father god thank you so much for forgiving us for when we fall short and thank you for giving us the inspiration and the wisdom to get better to get back up please give the sign of capricorn guidance for march the 15th through the 31st and thank you so much father god for all the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future please give the sign of capricorn guidance for mid-march 15th through the 31st listen you guys when i was doing the shuffle blowing out that candle boy when i was doing the shuffle I kept seeing Kali. I kept seeing Kali. And you know, she's a Hindu goddess. And she represents the tower. I would say she represents the tower or the death car in tarot. And it's like she's coming through like a tornado ending and, and killing off things that don't need to be there anymore. And people that are not willing to go through the transition willingly she's known to dance and spin around with swords in her hands she kind of spins and swings the swords like this and in some of her pictures she has a head of someone and she, she chops people heads off that doesn't want to change don't want to transition hmm I ain't see her come out, but I just want to let y'all know what I saw. 
in the, in the, in the, cause she came out twice in the pre-shuffle and I've never, that card's never fell out. So I had to read it. I already know who Carly was, but I just wanted to read it to see what they said in the book about Carly, but she didn't fall out. But, um, I'm going to tell you what did fall out. The death and the maiden. You have someone in your energy that's invasive. Someone that is a user. Someone that's a manipulator. Someone that doesn't have any foundation. They don't have any meat. They don't have any substance. Okay? This person um, doesn't really give a fuck about how they are intrusive in your life and in your affairs. And how they're affecting it negatively. Okay? This person doesn't know how to go out and create a foundation for themselves. They're not smart enough to get their own job. They're not wise enough to make commitments and be able to keep it. They are just literally lifeless, worthless pieces of shit. And they find people like you that they feel will allow them to attach their self to you and literally suck you dry and or love you to death. Because they feel like you are not strong enough to resist their temptation and allow them to continue to feed on you. But you know what? There's a Capricorn that said, you know what, bitch? <laughs> I might have let you feed off me. I might have let you feed off me. You've been, you know, you've been having a ball. You've been having a ball. But I'm not allowing this anymore. Mm -mm. It's time for me to treat myself. It's time for me to treat myself better. <laughs> and it's a break in the dawn. It's time for change. It is time for change. Capricorn knows that it's a lot of blessings about to come into their life in 2019. And it's not... I feel like every time Capricorn tries to treat their self, here comes this bitch-ass motherfucker saying like, Oh, is that for me? No, this is not for you. I bought this for me. I did not have any intentions of you being around at all while I'm enjoying my snack. And then this bitch ass motherfucker comes along and tries to convince you for why it's better off if you just give it to them and they just ask for a little bite. But they end up, have you ever like someone come and ask you if they could take a bite of your food and then you roll your eyes reluctantly and say yeah. And then when they take a bite of your food, they bite off two fucking thirds of your food. Like literally you have a Twinkie. They bite it off so much that you barely have a corner left. And you was just like, I know you fucking didn't. God is not going to give you this blessing with this person around. This person is going to suck you dry. And they're going to take everything for you. They're going to take everything from you. Because they don't know how to provide resources in that environment for themselves. That person is a coward. He's a weak. Or she's a weak person. It's a very toxic person. I feel like this person might be trying to also use other substance and other ways to control and manipulate you. So that you can't just so easily walk away it's like they feed you with candy. It's like they got you addicted to candy or something like that. Got you addicted to candy canes. <laughs> Listen, you like I don't I don't I don't want to share my candy with you anymore. What's this? I got options. Capricorn got options. Magician in reverse. Mm. Capricorn, you've been being sneaky. You've been communicating with other people and you found love somewhere else. <laughs> Capricorn, what's going on? Oh, that's what you meant. It's time to treat yourself. <laughs> Respect yourself, okay? <laughs> Capricorn said, no, 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 bitch. I already know what you up to. I know what you up to. It took me a long time to see what you was about, but yeah, it's okay, because I got me a treat somewhere else, bitch. It's time for you to go. I got new plans. 
I got new plans and it's time for me to treat myself, not cheat myself. And I cheat myself anytime that you're around in my vomit because you take every fucking thing. I just, oh my gosh, I feel so frustrated right now. I'm sorry. It's just, I feel like Capricorn been frustrated as shit, young. Whoever they've been dealing with, it's just like, bruh, I love you and I'm trying to help you. Oh, but I feel like you give it so much of yourself. It's just like, ugh, you, it, it, ugh, ugh, ugh. Listen, this situation, I want to say it's made you feel empty. It made you feel low. And you had to build up. You had to build yourself back up. And that's why I felt like you went out there scouring for other options. Because you're just like, I'm tired of feeling like this. I am tired of feeling like this. I feel weak. That's that magician in reverse. I feel weak. I don't feel as powerful as I normally do. And that's why it's just like, however, I am still attracting options. Regardless of how weak I feel or whatever my situation is, I ain't that motherfucker. No matter what this person try to make me feel or what they try to say to me, I ain't that motherfucking weak bitch. Clearly, I got motherfucking options. Clearly. Hello. Okay. Bitch. Okay. So, to... Capricorn, like, I, look, you, you, you already, <laughs> I ain't new to this. I'm true to this, bitch. You already know I ain't got no problem with sneaking around and doing what the fuck I want to do. You should have knew that. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. <laughs> Capricorn got options, and they doing their thing. Oh, yeah, they treating themselves all right. <laughs> Girl, Capricorn been out here doing their thing. They've been doing their thing. They've been getting a lot of passionate communications from a lot of people, okay? Capricorn got some options, all right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Is she perking the titty up? Is she, is she, is she perking the booby up? Suck on that, bitch. Oh, my gosh. They done found somebody else that they are love with. Capricorn, what you, Capricorn, what is going on, Capricorn? Capricorn, what is going on, good? Capricorn. Big old freak. Hey, big booty, big old freak. Hey, come on, Capricorn. Ah! Capricorn, well, I'm a big booty, big old freak. Nigga, what? Don't make me take this good good out here. What? It's time to treat myself, not treat myself. You ain't about to keep here feeding on me, bitch. Big booty, big old freak. Hey, can't be. It's no victory in this situation. What you dealing with? You're not gonna be victorious in this situation here. It's time for change. It's time for change. It's not gonna be no victory. Healing of the ages in reverse. It's not gonna be any victory. You're not gonna be able to heal. You're not gonna be able to heal, and that door to romance is not gonna open until you get this this skeleton, this demon up off of you. It's not gonna be no victory in your situation that you're in. Not only that, but when this person finds out that you share your candy with somebody else, they're going to be... See, this person right here, this person, they don't have no foundation. They don't have nothing to live for. They don't have nothing to lose. So when this person finds out that you out here doing your thing and that you got other people that's getting in the way of what they're feeding off of, this person can, can get... This person can get um, vengeful, Okay? You won't be any victorious um, outcome in a situation with this person. You need to cut your losses now. All right. You have to get away from this person in order for you to really heal. You're not able to heal. You're not ready to grow. And honestly, the door to true romance is already open for you. But you're not going to really be able to enjoy it until you get this person out of your energy and truly heal and be able to really feel and recognize what their true love is because whatever you have that brings you happiness this person wants to take it do you understand what i'm saying do you get me okay mid month there's not going to be no victory in this situation it's not it's time for change breaking the dawn it's time for you to finally treat yourself and get yourself out of this situation and let this person suck on you. 
it's not connecting Capricorn for some reason it's just not connecting to you for some of you Capricorns it's just not connecting it's like y'all know this but it's not connecting enough for y'all to make movements but yet there's a door to romance open like you found somebody else that you like oh yeah you found somebody else that you like and someone that you really see happiness and possible like like someone that you want to marry and you're like a fool in love in this situation you literally about to jump off the goddamn cliff like yeah that's i'm trying <laughs> yes y'all found somebody else that really truly makes you happy that you really find a successful commitment in a long lasting happy relationship and you're like a fool in love you're Moving on faith, you're ready to almost jump off the cliff and you find inspiration in this situation. This person, this new situation is, is inspiring you to get that devil up off your back. Please give me guidance and love for Capricorn. Please give a Capricorn guidance and love. Please give Capricorn guidance and love. Let your friends help you. Let your friends help you in this situation. It is safe for you to love. Stop giving that relationship that you in a chance. Stop, stop trying to work on that. Stop trying to work on that. It's unrequited love, child. Listen. This person, this skeleton here, this one that's feeding off of you. It's unrequited love, okay? It's not real. It's not real. You are merely just someone for this person to fucking feed off of. That's all they want you for. They don't love you, child. But you know this, though. You know this, though. Deep inside, Capricorn, you know that. Look at you looking helpless like you can't get away. Stop that bullshit. You can get the fuck away. Cut this shit out. Stop trying to get this situation a chance. Like for fucking what? The last one to fucking eat you to death? You want this motherfucker to eat you to death? This is a fucking cannibal. Look at him. Look at this bitch. This is a cannibal. You want them to eat you? The fuck type of weird ass shit? I like, I understand my fuckers be like, yeah, eat the booty, eat the booty. No, don't. Don't literally eat me. What is wrong with you? He want to eat you, girl. She want to eat you, boy. You is looking delicious. You looking like an ear of corn with all of the cheese and all of the, you know, that little Mexican corn, that bomb and shit. You look like a piece of good ass corn. What the fuck? If you don't let your friends help you up out of this situation, it is safe for you to go forward in this new situation where you found something and listen, this boy, this, this thing going to eat you. Mm -mm. Give me additional guidance and oh no. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that man gonna eat you. Mm-mm. He gonna eat your bank account. He gonna eat your heart. And then he gonna eat your soul. Get the uh Capricorn. Capricorn. Honey, the wheel of fortune is trying to turn in your favor. You got somebody helping you move forward out of this rough and rugged situation. Like you literally, yes, you got somebody helping you and you about, you about to hand them your cup. Capricorn, y'all in love with somebody else. Y'all in love with somebody else. You're moving away from this king of cups in reverse. Because this person ain't even showing you emotion. They're not even... They're not even showing you any love. And this person is smarter than you think that they are. They know what the fuck they're doing. This motherfucker right here knows what they're doing. They know how to control you. They know how to manipulate you. They know if they, they hold themselves back from you, you want to continue chasing them. Mm, mm, mm. Their whole intentions was for you to work harder than them. They never wanted to work on anything. They wanted you to do all the motherfucking work. They wanted you to do all the work. Listen, the will of fortune is turning in your favor. You literally have the creation of new life in your hand. All right? This world, this, this will is freely turning in your favor. You got to do what you need to do. 
And you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Keep selling forward with that person that you want to give your heart to. You see you right there about to give your heart to somebody, girl. You got that cup in your hand. About This looks dark. Can y'all see this? I hope y'all can truly see this. Can y'all see this? This motherfucker knows what they're doing by not showing you no emotion. They feel like you're going to chase them. The dolphin is one of the smartest goddamn animals in the goddamn sea. Might be small. Might not be as cute as all the rest of the fit. No, they, no, they are cute. Dolphins are the cutest little fucking thing. This motherfucker is cute. They know they're cute. And they know how to motherfucking hold their emotions back to you. They're very smart and they calculated. This bitch know what the fuck they doing. And it's possibly a Cancer, Pisces, or a goddamn Scorpio. I want to say it's a fucking Pisces, y'all. Listen. It was never intended for them to put any work. They wanted you. You see how beat up and scratched up or bruised. They wanted you to do all the work while they sit back and enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. They wanted to sit back and watch you destroy yourself. <laughs> That's all it was. Okay? As long as they reap the benefits. What you need to do, okay? What you need to do, Capricorn. You need to retreat from this situation. And you need to watch this idiot destroy themselves. You need to burn down that whole foundation of that situation of what it was. Turn your back to it and retreat and heal and get yourself together. Okay? Let me give you some last minute um guidance and love. And then we about it here, honey buddy. Please give Capricorn divine mask. That is not your divine masculine. I don't give a fuck if you just pop the baby out your pussy for this nigga. That is not your divine masculine. That's not your divine mask. When God is sending you somebody that is truly for you, honey. If you don't get this, oh, get this person about your energy. This person is a big ass fucking child. It's a big ass fucking child, and you need to stop playing. You need to stop playing in this union that you got yourself locked up in, and you need to in, use your intuition to find a true connection, true love, true love. Use your intuition, Capricorn. Listen, I love y'all. If this video resonated, if it resonated, if it gave you insight, if it gave you clarity, um, and you want to book a personal or private reading, you can do so. Hold on. You can do so by clicking that about tab, okay? Please give some direct guidance to Capricorn from Spirit. God, please give them one last part of the message. Thank you so much. What is this? It's saying he hello from heavens. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of your worries and feel their love and blessings. Some of you guys just had someone just passed over. They're saying hello to you from the heavens. And let you know that everything is fine. And everything is fine in regards to your situation. Do what is needed to be done. They got your back. Okay? They got your back. All right. If this video resonated and you want to give a love donation, you can do so by clicking that uh, PayPal in the description. I love you guys. See you in April. Hope this video resonated. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Peace.